Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a few tips for middle school, some advice, everything that you need to know. A lot of this advice I'll be taking to high school with me, like this is not only for middle schoolers. I posted this on my Instagram, I asked you guys to ask me a few questions about middle school, so I'm going to be answering a few of those. There's a lot we have to unpack here, so get your snacks, get your drinks, because we're going to get started. This will be in category, so if there's anything you really want to know about, you can hover over down here and you can go to those sections of the video that you want to learn more about. I'm going to be answering your guys' questions on classes and schedules. So the first question I have is, are the classes hard? For me, I went to a STEM school. All of our classes are pre-AP. You don't have a choice. Honestly, it depends on the person, but I would say personally, the classes weren't too hard. And it's all about knowing yourself when you choose your classes. Definitely choose a class that you know you can do well in, but it's still kind of going to challenge you. It's definitely better to get an A in a normal class than to get an F in a pre-AP class. Because not everyone's going to do good in a pre-AP class, and that's okay because everyone learns different. Don't try and go for the higher classes just because everyone else is doing it because in the end it's only going to benefit you did you actually use your locker so sixth grade i had a locker i did use it sometimes but it was really hard to get into so it was like not worth it to me i would rather just have a broken back but then i switched schools and we did not have lockers seventh grade was in line so i couldn't even use a locker and then eighth grade i went in person and we didn't have lockers is pe hard eighth grade i didn't have pe sixth grade i had pre-athletics i did not run at all and then we were running a mile every single friday that was not something I was used to because I never ran. Seventh grade was just normal. Like, I remember we did videos like, do this Fortnite dance or do 10 jumping jacks. It was things like that. So honestly, for me, it wasn't hard. I know for different schools, you can choose like tennis, PE, pre-athletics or band things like that so depending on what you choose it's honestly up to you pre-athletics was really fun i didn't appreciate it that much in sixth grade but i feel like now i definitely would since i'm more into like being active and stuff we did a lot of like we honestly did some weightlifting and we actually did things in the gym at our school if you do take pre-athletics be grateful for it because as soon as i didn't have it anymore i wish i took advantage of it were you organized if so did it actually help in sixth I kind of just messed around. I still got like all A's and stuff. Seventh grade, it was COVID, so everyone messed around. Nothing was organized. Eighth grade is where I really started caring because I wanted to get into early college, so that was like my main focus. There was nothing for me to really organize. I just did my work when it was due, and then I was able to just like play Tetris or read a book the rest of the class. A lot of girls at my school did use a planner and they would write down other homework. I tried it, but it never worked for me and I would never keep up with it. So there's that. Our teachers strict about being late to a period. I'm mostly gonna be talking about my eighth grade year because seventh and eighth grade I went to the same school and eighth grade was my in-person year. They aren't that strict. They mostly never mark you late, especially if you're hardly ever late. I was late like a good amount of times. Most of the time it would just be because I needed to go to the restroom before. Is it hard to remember your schedule? So when I first went into sixth grade, I was like, the vacuum is like bumping into my door. Anyways, going into sixth grade, I was like, I am not gonna remember my schedule. I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna be having to carry a notebook with me or like write it on my hand, but you literally learn after two to three days. It the next topic is drama, which there is a lot of everywhere. Drama is inevitable, I think that's the word for it. The best thing you can do is never repeat anything. If you have a friend that trusts you with something, keep it a priority to never repeat it to anyone because you, one, don't want to lose that trust, two, don't want to start rumors about that person or yourself, and three, it's it just doesn't make sense. Like, it's not your place to tell something about someone. If drama starts with you and another person, just be the mature one and be the bigger person. If you feel like it's not being resolved, you can bring it up to like a counselor or something. Now for the questions. Is there a lot of school fights? I did not see a single school fight at my school. In sixth grade, I went to a bigger school and even then there was no fights. I did have some friends from that school and they said there was fights. And I know a lot of middle schools do have fights. So personally for me, there was none, but I know that there is in other middle schools. So just know that it's possible to have fights depending on what school you go to. How did drama start for you? I didn't have any drama. Now that I think about it, it wasn't necessarily drama in the sense that we're talking about. Were you in a lot of drama? That's the next question. No. The next topic is friends. In eighth grade, I honestly didn't have very many friends. There were 60 kids in our eighth grade. And if one person didn't like you, nobody liked you because they were all friends. I came to the school in seventh grade and in sixth grade, everyone was already friends with each other. So they kind of just like pushed me away. And I have like a strong personality and a lot of people are scared of that. Like. 
I'm very forward and I say what I think and I think a lot of people don't like that like they're not used to it and they aren't comfortable with it to them I'm just obnoxious the first tip I have is be friendly especially in sixth grade everyone is going to be shy everyone is looking to make friends and the best thing you can do is go up to someone because somebody has to do it I made a lot of good friends in sixth grade I moved schools though so it was kind of hard to keep in touch even then by the end of middle school you end up growing away from your friends quality over quantity is the most important thing one thing that really helped me choosing my friends is to always think about what my parents would think about them most of us grow up with our parents opinions in a sense I'm not saying like our opinions are the same as our parents I'm just saying you learn a lot from your parents and you know Know that they have good judgment. I want my friends and my family to be comfortable with each other. Be okay by yourself. This is a huge one for me. I was almost always reading a book with my earphones in because I didn't really talk to many people so it was just easier to be by myself and I think that being okay by yourself is so much more important than having tons of friends because at the end of the day all you have is yourself and your friends aren't always going to be there. Cut off any toxicity. You don't want any. When you see a red flag, slowly drift away from the person you don't want their toxicity to start rubbing off on you and if you start relying on this person they're just gonna block you from like making friends or anything like that do not make friends out of popularity popularity is overrated nothing more to say about that losing friends is okay it always happens and when it happens it happens for a reason but when you lose a friend it may seem hard in the beginning but then you'll realize it's most likely better off that way the last topic is bullying i didn't really deal with bullying necessarily it can affect a lot of people personally it didn't affect me unless it was true to be honest and i would come home crying some days not because of what people say but because of the confusion like why are people this way why are people so brutal and rude it's a tough awakening you go from elementary being friends with everyone to going to middle school where everyone has their like heads up way too high. Okay, so time is 8 30 if i look tired that is why i feel like this is pretty clear but in case it isn't this isn't supposed to be like a negative video this is just my experiences and me giving you advice for my experiences this isn't to like scare you into going into middle school this, this is genuinely just to give you guys advice and if it came off negative i'm really sorry i'm just like trying to share the pros and cons not just the pros and so i hope that was clear if not then here is this to make it clear so i think that's it i think i covered everything i hope i covered everything if you guys have any questions about anything i talked about or anything else you want to know about feel free to comment it down below thank you so so much for watching anyways please take care of yourself love yourself drink water do all of that thanks again bye